Willow. I hope you're well. Uh, so you are a child of Willow if you were born between 3 degrees and 21 degrees of Pisces. So let's get a starting off energy for those born under Willow. Mm, the Piper. Well, isn't this a very willowy energy? So the Piper is a song of seduction that is blowing in through the trees. It's the sound when you're walking through the woodland and suddenly you hear this faint music that's almost sounding like a babbling brook, but then suddenly you're like, no, I think that's music that's playing. It's not just the sounds of nature. There's something else there that I need to explore. And then you start suddenly following that sound. You start following the breadcrumb trail of this music that's just creeping through the woodlands. And then you are led to this scene, this vision in a clearing by the river. And you can't believe what you've discovered. It's something so beautiful and enchanting that it has caused you to do that you're like where am I where am I what is this thing that I'm looking at what is this beautiful creature that I've encountered so something's definitely entrancing you right now Willow something that's coming through almost like a dream you've had some sort of an insight into something And it's coming through very illusionary. And we've got Gloom and a Doom that's just popped out now, which is really fascinating because Gloom and a Doom speaks about deep depression. It signals a feeling of absolute stagnancy and a heavy weightedness that is just pressing down on you and that you're struggling to shake, you're struggling to move. So something's been taking up your heart space for a while that feels very dense, very dark, very heavy. And then suddenly this new vision has come through, this new situation or this new person has fluttered into your life suddenly out of nowhere. And all of a sudden it's like the green space in the heart starts filling up again. Suddenly we're going from this darkness here, all these dark, heavy colours, to this, the colour of the heart chakra, and the warmth glow of the vision that's making you feel suddenly re-inspired and re-enchanted. And being born under Willow, you desperately need this magic in your life, right? You desperately need to feel like you're attached to some kind of magic in the world, whether that be through nature or through the expression of art in various forms, um, through reading incredible stories that get you lost and enchanted along the way. And you've really been missing that willow, you've really been missing this feeling of feeling connected to something that is more than just the plain mundane. Because these heavy weighted feelings or thoughts have been coming in and out and you see how many people are in this? Just occupying space for a while. Occupying space that you don't want to give time and energy to because you know it's unnecessary, you know you don't actually or you shouldn't be spending this much time just festering on them and thinking about them and struggling to overcome them because it's not you, Willow. That's not how you are. You are this magical being that skips through the woodland and talks to everything that it sees, engages with things that other people might not necessarily understand. And it's almost like you'd lost your song for a while, Willow. You'd lost your song and your ability to tune into the sound of the music, right? To tune into the song of the underworld. The song of something more and something greater than yourself 
um, that is greater than the perceivable ordinary. Mm, I love it, Bella. By the way, if you can hear creaking, it's my um, my neighbour upstairs. So I just looked at the bottom of the deck and we had death. And that's actually quite fitting because I actually sat down and tried to record this video a couple of moments ago and the overall energy that I pulled for it was a new day but I ended up having to stop the video and starting again and I was like I'm just gonna pull new cards and have a fresh pull instead and so there's definitely some sort of a significant ending period that's taking place right we're going from this into this so something's dying and decaying in your life Willow the end of a cycle is clearly coming to a close and there's a very clear beginning that's about to happen. And I would like to know where you're off to, Willow. Where is Willow off to in this new beginning? You are lighting your own torch, Willow. You're lighting your own waybearer. I'm seeing this dragon in some deep cavern somewhere and it's been dark for a while and suddenly Willow's just realised, hang on, what am I doing? I'm the one who can create my own light in this situation. I'm the one who can create my own light and guide myself out of this scenario to something better. It's like suddenly Willow's just had a light bulb just f flick on in their head and they're like, wait, what am I doing? Why am I sitting in this gloominous doom energy when I have so many things at my dispersal, my disposal? And it's like Willow's just suddenly kick-started into action mode because all of this fire, it's the ace of spells, so it's the ace of fire in this deck. This is that new passionate start, right? This new passionate start of vibrancy and enthusiasm to go after something strongly, clearly and strongly in a specific direction. And it's like Willow suddenly just realise their own power and they're the one that is initiated and kick-started this new beginning that they're about to head into because of this channeling of the internal power of Willow. Willow's just realised actually how powerful they are. And they're about to lead their own way through the caverns, through the deep underworld and when they pop out into this new space this woodland suddenly the light pours in the bird song returns and suddenly the song can be heard again suddenly the song can be heard again willow it seems to me like you're reconnecting with a very deep part of yourself that you might have felt very disconnected from for quite a long time or a significant period, enough so that it made you feel quite lost and disconnected from your own personal power. Because Willow's powerful, right? You're intuitive, your psychic abilities, your gifts, your ability to express magic in the world and have people receive it and feel magic in return. You had lost your connection to that. You had lost your connection to your magic. You felt like your magic couldn't take flight anymore. And this is what's heralding in this new beginning. So, like I said, the overall energy that we pulled out before was a new day, but we're gonna do it again. 
overall energy please for willow slow and steady that's so funny because so you've had slow and steady come out oh wrong way you've had slow and steady come out and there's another card in this deck Let's see if i can find him that is the exact same card of slow and steady and he's called geo the slow and he popped out in the last reading as well. So these are all the same themes. So even though I've put all the cards back and new cards are coming out, it's all the exact same message. So this might have felt like a really slow process, Willow. I mean, even to the point of it could have been, I'm seeing the last five years specifically, it could have been as long as five years ago, this whole process has felt just strung out drawn out it's been draining you you've been struggling to see the light and then suddenly something's happened something's aligned significantly enough to be able to cause this trigger within yourself where suddenly you've realized that you can turn on the light again and that is in your own power to do that and suddenly you're discovering this feeling of magic again because of that i just saw 11 11 on the clock as well so this could have been a really long slow process that you've been going you might have really felt this disconnection for a significant period of time and so this new day is coming in i want to say very quickly but it might not feel quickly obviously in terms of how long the process has taken from start to finish however the new day that's about to come in this fresh start once you've turned on this light or once you trigger this light on because if this hasn't happened just yet then this is about to happen so his hair is like rotating um that is when this ushering of this new day will start coming in although it might still take a little bit of time a little bit of time for it to fully or for you to fully feel the benefits of it for you to fully feel like you're living that new beginning and that fresh start of the new cycle the new chapter that's about to begin significantly in your life it might take a little bit of while before that feels like it's in full swing but in terms of how long the process has felt overall you know if it has been something as long as five years then this will feel like a blink of an eye really if you think about it but take it as a message of hope that if you're still sat in this energy willow this gloominous doom energy then take it as a message of hope that soon you'll be able to be out of it once you've triggered this light within yourself once you've had this self-actualization of your own power and your own gifts that you can deliver to the world that is when you will be led to the piper that is when you will be led to this enchantment that is when you will be led back to the song and back to your own magic and then on the bottom of the deck we have the nine of visions willow's been wishing for this for quite a long time sorry they're being really loud upstairs get some more for willow please oh okay no straight out <laughs> straight out of the door the singer of courage the singer of courage aries it takes courage to light something in the dark right it takes courage to navigate the dark it takes courage to be able to pull oneself out of something that feels unsalvageable when one is so heavy and so lost or disorientated it takes a lot of courage to be able to turn on the light look at all of this light willow that's coming into your reading now the singer of courage this is that very act of courage the very act of turning on the light taking that step forward into that new phase something that you might have been nervously anticipating or dreading 
perhaps there's a new chapter, a new opportunity that presents itself and you're just struggling to take that step of confidence into it because you still may not be feeling fully in your power once more. But once you take that step of courage, Willow, once you take that step of courage into the new chapter and realise that actually you are perfectly capable of navigating through these caverns and finding your way back to the enchanted forest, that is when the lights will come back on. So you might still feel like you're a little bit directionless right now, but just take the courage to do something do something that's been on your mind for a while to usher in this new beginning, this fresh start of this new chapter. Have the courage within yourself to trust yourself and believe and have enough self-believe in your own self-worth and your capabilities to switch on this light, to reconnect with that part of yourself once more. And then all of this light comes back into your life all of this magic suddenly is ushered in again and we move away from the gloom and this doom energy. Okay, well, I, I hope that was helpful for you. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, then please subscribe. We're gonna start going through all of the birth trees um, in the Celtic tradition, rather than using the um, astrological placements of tropical and sidereal astrology. Um, so if that's something that you think you'll enjoy learning a bit more on, then please stay tuned. And Willow, I hope you have a beautiful week ahead and I shall see you in the next video.